boom! What's up everyone? Welcome to Apple Insider. It is a new day and that means a new update for your iPhone or your iPad. So after quite a bit of beta testing, Apple has finally released iOS 14.4 as well as iPadOS 14.4 to the masses. It has been in testing alongside, I believe, 7.3 for the Apple Watch and even updates to HomePod and HomePod Mini and the Apple TV. Don't forget macOS Big Sur as well in there. As I said, 14.4 is already out. You can download it right now as you're watching this video. So while you're doing that or getting ready to do that, in this video, we're gonna walk you through everything new in this update, what you can expect because 14.4 did contain quite a few new features and changes that you should know about. Starting off with my little friend here, the HomePod Mini. Apple has been testing an updated version of Handoff that utilizes the U1 ultra wideband chip found in the HomePod mini as well as in your newer iPhone. That U1 chip is able to very accurately detect the location of your phone, especially as it's moving closer and further from your HomePod mini. Now, with this U1 chip, Apple is able to improve the handoff experience by a ton. So now as you move your phone towards your HomePod mini, the background's going to start to blur. You're gonna see a little card appear at the top of your phone and you're gonna get a slight vibration feeling. And as you move your phone closer and closer to the HomePod mini, those things are all gonna ramp up. It's gonna vibrate more as you get closer, feeling that haptic, that haptic feedback in there. The card's gonna get closer and then as soon as you get right to the end, it's gonna like pop and you're gonna see that card show up, you're gonna transfer the audio from your phone to the HomePod mini, uh, and you're gonna feel it literally in your hand kind of as it actually transfers that audio from your phone to the HomePod. And the same thing works in reverse. It is a very cool experience, far improved by what we got with the initial HomePod mini release and our regular HomePods. Apple's included a few other features that we wanna talk about as well. For example, when you're setting the wallpaper inside of the Shortcuts app, if you have preview toggled to off, there is a new option to enable or disable perspective zoom. Some people don't like this added motion, some people prefer it, but now you have that option when preview is toggled off. Other changes include the ability to scan smaller QR codes from the camera app. So it could still scan QR codes in the past, but now it'll read even smaller QR codes. The Find My app has a new splash screen getting ready for AirTag as well as third-party device tracking. Uh, companies like Belkin are integrating the Find My experience into their products. So Belkin is releasing a new version of its uh, headphones, its true wireless earbuds that are integrating with Find My. So you'll be able to see those headphones in the Find My app, uh, track them down, mark them as lost, anything like that. So Apple is kind of explaining that in this new splash screen inside of the Find My app. Inside of settings, when you go to Bluetooth, there are new device categories, which is important for audio notifications. So you can kind of categorize your Bluetooth devices that go unrecognized. And if you have a newer iPhone, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Pro, or iPhone 12 Pro Max, there's now an alert. If you get your camera or your phone fixed, and a non-genuine camera module is put into place. And it sounds a little bit weird, but the idea is if you're going and getting your camera replaced and somebody puts in a fake, a knockoff, a not as good quality camera into your iPhone, you'd probably wanna know about it. That is one of the most expensive components in your camera. They're flipping three of them in these guys, uh, not to mention the LiDAR scanner. So it is important to have a real genuine Apple part in there. So if you do have that, uh, your you know, back of your phone fixed or something and someone puts in a non-genuine camera module, there's gonna be an alert to let you know that that has happened. Finally, there is a direct touch feature added into the accessibility settings on your iPhone. Early on, this was definitely not working, but we're glad Apple's got it all sorted out and working here for the final release of iOS 14.4. So what do you guys think? Again, 14.4 is downloading now, free to download, go get it, jump in the settings app on your iPhone, get these new features, check them out, and let me know what you guys think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, and let me know what changes that you wanna see in the next version of iOS.